today i'm going to study about probability part 4 in this part 4 we will do lot of questions which will depend upon the combination just see the question so this is the question part 4 first question in a group of students there are 15 boys and 10 girls if three students are selected at random what is the probability that one girl and two boys are selected for this type of question you know well the what is probability of any event is what that is favorable outcome that is favorable outcome and divide total outcome you know well what is the favorable outcome what is the total outcome Favorable outcome is what we need, what we want, and total outcome what is all all possibility. So in this question, what is our favorite? Favorite is what? That there is a 15 boys and 10 girls. That is total 25. 15 boys and 10 girls. If three students are selected at random, what is the order? One girl and two boys. So our favorable is what? There is a one girl from ten girls and two boys from fifteen boys. Okay, and total twenty-five we need three. So, what is the function? That is means that there is a one girl from ten girls. So we will take ten C one. Ten C one. That is one girl from ten. How many times we get? And multiply. You see. Okay, now we want two boys from fifteen boys. So this is what fifteen C two. And again, there is a total fifteen plus ten, twenty five. So this is twenty five, and there is a three. So condition is that if I we do probability of what it that is one girl and two boys, three. Person that is one girl and two boys can be selected in how many? Because we want to select any three. Three students we want to select. Condition is what? If three students, one should be girl and two should be boy. So how many ways we can find one? So there is ten girls and how we can find one? So ten C one. So this is the ten C. In the same way there is the fifteen boy. We want only two boy. So how many ways we can collect? We can make a group of two boys from fifteen. That is fifteen C. Now total we have total possibility is what? Total we have fifteen plus ten twenty five. So how many ways we can make a group of three from there? So this is twenty five C. Now for solving this, we have to know this formula. That is N C R. This N C R equal to what? This is n factorial upon r factorial multiply n minus r. So what is n? Suppose we are finding ten c. So this is ten c one. So ten c one is what? That is that ten factorial. This is one factorial and ten minus one. That is nine. Now how can we solve this factorial? So factorial means reverse counting. So this is 10 factorial. You can write this 10 into 9 factorial. And then here already 9 factorial. So this is cancel. So what is this? 10. So we can write this as a formula. The n c 1 equal to what? That is n. So if there is any number given, I mean select one from the n c 1 is what? That is n. So 10 c 1 is what here? Ten. So we can put here ten. In the same way, now you see this is fifteen C. So if we apply the same rule here, that is fifteen C two. So what is fifteen C two? So this is fifteen C two. So now same fifteen factorial, two factorial, fifteen minus two part, that is three. Thirty factorial. So the first counting of fifteen is what? That is fifteen into fourteen. Now you know there is a thirteen, so just stop it. And here 
2 multiply this is the what 13 factorial. So this 13 factorial cancel and this is 2 7 the 4. So our answer is what 100. So now we have also take if there is any number given and C2. So you see what is given 15 by 2 into 14. So you can write direct n by 2 into n minus 1. This is become 3. If there is any n number is given and we want 2 number from it, then this is the n c2. So n c2 means half of n multiply n minus 1. So n is here 15. So 15 by 2 multiply 14. So 15 by 2 into 14 is what? 2 7 is 14 that is 105. So just you put here 105 and divide by again 25 C3. So again you apply the same trick that is 25 C3. So if we go for this 25 C3. So this is what 25 factorial. Again this is 3 factorial. 25 minus 3 is what? 22 factorial. So again here 25 multiply 24 multiply 23 and this is what 22. Here 3 factorial 3 into 2 and here only 20. This will be cancel out. You will get what 25 into 24 into 23 divided by 6. So you can cut this 6 for the 24. So our answer is what? 25 into 400 that is 2300. But we go for technique also if there is a NC3. If there is a NC3, and anything given. Then you see the technique N, N minus 1, N minus 2, divided by C. That is N into N minus 1. N minus 2 and divide 6. You can go direct. This is 25. So 25 into 24 into 23. Divided by 6. You can use this technique to find NC3. Yes, simple tricky formula is what? NCR you can write N. This is N. N into N minus 1. N minus 2 by 6. So this is here. 20, N is 25. So 25, 24, 23 upon 6. So this is the 2300, this is 23. So this is this cancel. You can go 5 2 are 10, 5 1 are 1. Here 5 4 are 20, 5 6 are 30. So our carrot answer is what? 21 upon 46. So here 21 upon 46 A of 7 right answer. Now we we'll see question number 2. Question 2 is what? Question 2 is a man draws two cars together. From a pack of 52 cars, what is the probability of both the cars being the K? Again in this question, you are saying that a man draws the two cars together. So when there is a question for the two cars, we will use the combination. Because there is a two cars together from a pack of 52 cars. So what is the probability of the both cars being the K? So again you know probability of any event is what? Favorable outcome by total outcome. Favorable outcome is what? What is asked in the question? What we want? So we want two cards. So what is the probability of both cards being the kings? So you know in total 52 cards there is four kings. But we need only two kings. So there is a lot of groups of two. So this is 4C2. Again total card is 52. So this is what? 52C2. So this is 4C2 divided by 52C2. Now you can use the trick. What is the trick? We have understood here. If there is a NCR. So here what? NC2. So again you go for the trick. First you half this. That is N by 2. So 4 by 2. And multiply what? n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 what that is 3 in the same way here 52 so that is what 52 by 2 and multiply what n minus 1 that is 52 minus 1 is what 51 okay so you can use the trick 2 2 is 4 and here what that is the 20, 2 2 is 4 2 6 is 5 
So here again 3 1 are 3 and 3 1 are 3 2, 3 7 are 21. So our correct answer is what? 2 upon this is 26 into 70. So this is 26 into 70. So you know 7 6 are 42. So this is 2. So this is 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1 and 1, 3, 2, 1. So again you check it 4C2 that is what 4 by 2 multiply 4 minus 1 that is 3. Here 52 C2. So 52 by 2 that is what 26 into 51. So this is what 2 to 4 and here 2 into 2 to 26. Here 3 so 3 1 to 3 to 70. So what is this 2 upon 70 into 26. So 26 into 70, then this is 2, 1, 2 and here what? 30, 30. So we get 1 upon, there is a 13, 7, 91. So this is 1 carry line. 30, 1, 30 and 9, what is 22, 21. So this is 13, 7, 21. We have carry 2. And again, you know that you can multiply this way 17, 3, 51, carry 5. 17 by 17 and 522. So this is 1 upon 2 to 1. So our correct answer is what? 1 by 221. In the same type, you see the question. The a box contains 4 by 5 red and 6 blue balls. If 3 balls are drawn at random from the box, what is the probability that all of them are blue? So again we have to find probability of 3 balls. So again this is a case of combination. So again probability of any event is what? That is favorable outcome by total outcome. So we need 3 balls but probability all of them are blue. So how many blue balls? There is 6 blue balls. So we have to find that is 6 C3. And divided by now total is what 4 plus 5 that is 9 and 6 15. So this is 15 C3. So this is my answer 6 C3 upon divided by 15 C3. If you will solve this question, you will get your answer. So you know 6 C3. So 6 C3 again what that is uh, you can use your trick that is 6. Multiply 6 minus 1 that is 5 Multiply 6 minus 2 that is 4 And divided by 6 In the same way here 15 C3 So this is 15 15 minus 1 14 15 minus 2 30 And divided by 6 So this 6 and this 6 will be cancelled out In the same way this is 5 So 5 3 the 15 cancelled out Again here 3 3 to the 6 cancel out. Again here 2, 2 7 to 14 cancel out. So what we get? Uh, this is 4 and 13 7 to 91. So 4 upon 91 is our carry dance. So all this you can say 3 first, second term. All these 3 questions are based on the combination. So if there is a probability of more than 1, then we will use combination. So I think you have understood all the questions. So just to revise all the questions and solve this question. Best of luck.